President of the Press, good evening and uh, welcome to uh, offices. Uh, thank you for coming uh, this afternoon for the purpose of this press briefing. On behalf of our clients, Mohamed Yusufi II, who was yesterday morning, the 9th day of March 2020, deposed as Emir of Kano by the Governor of Kano State, His uh, Excellency Dr. Abdullah Marganduji, who claims to have uh, acted on the resolution of the Kano State Executive Council. This action, in our view, is illegal and unconstitutional. The Kano State Executive Council, rather the Kano State Emirate Council law, which was recently enacted by Kano State uh, Government, does not give the State Executive Council or the Governor of Kano State the powers to unilaterally remove the Emir. The reason given in the letter of deposition of the Emir dated 9th March 2020 was alleged, quote, disrespect to lawful instructions from the authorities, unquote. The Emir was also alleged to have, quote, refused to attend official programs and meetings organized by the government, unquote. As far as we are aware, there has not been any notice of such disrespect ever given to the Emir or query issued to him for refusal to attend official functions. He was never given any opportunity to defend himself against those charges. Section 13 of the Kano Emirate Council Law 2019, cited in the letter of deposition, empowers the governor to depose an emir only after due inquiry and in consultation with the State Council of Chiefs. We are not aware of any such due inquiry, nor are we aware that the Kano State Council of Chiefs was at any time summoned to any meeting, much less discuss the removal of the emir or give any advice to the governor on the deposition of, uh, uh, of Emir. Mohamed Sinusi II was the chairman of the State Council of Chiefs, and if such a meeting was summoned, he would have been aware. He would have been formless. In our view, the action was patently illegal and unconstitutional, and a clear abuse of power. Be that as it may, the decision to challenge the removal is solely that of the Emir, Mohammed Sanusi II. At this moment, no such instruction has been given to us. Since the deposition of the Emir, I was at the palace yesterday afternoon in the company of uh, one of my uh, senior colleagues to consult with the Emir. We met him in good spirit and in company of his family and a few associates. He said to us that he was waiting for the deposition letter from the government house and was informed that the Commissioner of Police was on his way along with certain government officials. While waiting there, there was a commotion in the private wings of the palace as some, uh, as some unauthorized person tried to gain entry into the family section. This led to some scuffle and taggers were fired by the security operators. Normalcy was restored after the unauthorized persons along with armed security operators retreated from the inner part of the palace. I subsequently, along with my colleagues, was able to meet with the Commissioner of Police, that is the Kano State Commissioner of Police, and other security operatives, with, and with the permission of the Emir, they were led to one of the city rooms where the deposition letter was served by an agent of the state government of him. The Emir accepted the letter and decided to acknowledge it personally. After writing some Quranic verses on the acknowledgement uh, copy, uh, in the Arabic script, of course, along with his signature. This was handed over to the government official. In the letter of deposition, it was stated that the Emir was to be removed to Nasara State. We requested to know if the Emir was under arrest, and if so, we wanted to see the arrest warrant. The Commissioner of Police informed us that the Emir was not under arrest. We informed the Commissioner of Police that it was illegal and a violation of his constitutional rights, that is the right of the Emir to remove him to Nasara State against his wish. The Emir informed the Commission of Police that his friends had sent an aircraft to fly him with it, along with his family to Lagos and requested that they should be provided with necessary security cover to the airport so that they could leave. The Commissioner of Police refused, saying that that was not their instructions. They were willing to allow the family to leave for Lagos, but 
the MI was to be flown to Abuja, then Ong was taken to Nasara State. It is clear to us that both the MI and ourselves uh, were helpless, and the police and other security agents were willing to take any measures, including the use of force, to achieve their objective. In order to not to jeopardize the safety of the MI, or the safety of any member of his family, or indeed other persons around, the MI decided to cooperate and proceed in the vehicles provided by the operatives uh, to the airport. We accompanied him with the Commissioner of Police to the Nigerian Air Force uh, base, military base in Kano, where the MI was put in the private aircraft and departed to Lagos uh, to, and departed at 6.40 p.m. The family subsequently boarded the aircraft arranged by his friends and departed from Lagos at uh, about 15 minutes afterwards. Gentlemen, we have not spoken to the MR since yesterday, but we understand that uh, they are at their, their destination somewhere in a uh, remote part of Nasara State after driving for nearly seven hours yesterday night and arrived at their destination at 2 a.m. Uh, this morning. We understand the choice of the location to detain His Highness Mohammed II uh, was intended to cause maximum trauma and distress. Uh, this again is illegal and unconstitutional. According to instructions we received from the Emir through his chief of staff, we are directed to take legal action to challenge the legality of the Emir's detention and banishment. We have the fine view that this action is illegal and unconstitutional. Section 35 of the Constitution of our country guarantees every citizen the right to personal liberty. The basis of the denial of personal liberty are set out clearly in that section of the Constitution. None applies to the case of the enemy. The archaic practice of banishment of deposed enemies, a colonial practice, has no basis under Nigerian law or the Constitution. We are totally perplexed at the results to this practice in present-day Nigeria by its political leaders. The illegality of this practice was pronounced by the Nigerian Court of Appeal in the, attorney, in the case of Attorney General of Kebbi State against His Royal Highness Al Taji Al Mustafa Jukolo and others, which is reported in the law report, uh, citation given here, 2013, uh, local dealing electronic law reports, 22349 slash Court of Appeal, where the court pronounced it as illegal and unconstitutional and a gross violation of the rights of the Emir. This is what the Court of Appeal said in that case. The banishment and deportation from Kebbi State by the governor of Kebbi State, of, uh, of the first respondent, that is the then Emir of, uh, of Gwandu, Sapien Gwandu, to Lafia in Nasrallah State, and later on to Obi, also in Nasrallah State, is most unconstitutional and illegal, unquote. We call on the authorities, in particular the Inspector General of Police, <coughs> the Director General of the Department of State Services, and the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice to ensure the immediate release of His Highness Muhammad Sanusi II so that he can be reunited with his family. We are concerned about the personal safety and security of His Highness at the remote location where he is being held. I wish to call on all well-meaning Nigerians and the international community to bring their influence to bear to ensure that His Highness Muhammad Sanusi II regains his liberty immediately and to guarantee his safety and security. The legal, uh, the legal team, the legal team of His Highness, are working both in Kano and Abuja, and unless he's released immediately, will be taking appropriate legal action. Thank you, gentlemen of press. Uh, this is the statement we're issuing on behalf of His Highness, and we are now ready to take questions. Please introduce yourself and the media. Please, please, please. please. Sorry, who to ask questions? I am Okay. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, I've already answered that question. Um, the legal team, both in Kano and Abuja, are already working. And if by tomorrow morning no um, good news is received by us about his release, we'll then be approaching uh, the courts appropriately. Okay. Yes, yes.